唔知道大家听到土耳其呢个国家名字会谂到啲咩呢？要追溯翻土耳其嘅文化同埋历史，要翻翻去十一世纪噶。土耳其无论喺艺术、文化同埋经济方面，都为欧洲同埋亚洲成为咗重要嘅桥梁。Part of Turkey in Asia, this place, this beautiful place called Anatolia,、mm -hmm. and by the way, this is the Bosphorus.、Mm -hmm. This side is Asia.、Mm -hmm. This is Europe. 自从我认识咗第一位土耳其朋友之后，我就深深俾佢嘅热情所打动，希望可以进一步深入咁去了解佢哋嘅文化。究竟佢哋嘅文化同我嘅文化差异有几大咧？记得第一日，佢哋一见到我就已经好热情咁邀请我去饮佢哋嘅土耳其茶。难怪嘅。Tea in Turkey becomes a lifestyle already. 中心入边嘅另一位职员 Mehmet 好耐心咁解释俾我听土耳其嘅历史同埋文化背景。Yeah, as a non-governmental organization to introducing Turkish culture and、uh, having dialogue with Hong Kong people, it also encourages us to be more active in Hong Kong because it's a huge market for us. 咁香港人阿 Sam 又会点睇土耳其嘅艺术咧？你睇佢啲好多系嘅画啊，诶诶 ，Kilim 啊，嗰啲地毡啊，诶，好多东西其实都系有好长好长嘅时间。诶、uh, ，而你睇得到嗰个内涵喺里边系系好实在。Inviting someone as a guest is very important for a family in Turkey. If there is no guests in your house, It is just like a soil. There is no any plant on it. You know, we 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 think like that. If there is a guest in your house, we we serve our best things to them. There are not too much people know about Turkey, but the experience we had shows us Hong Kong people like Turkish culture when they know it. They they like they love the food. 曾经去过土耳其嘅阿 Sam 又觉得点样可以将土耳其同埋香港嘅文化拉近咧？咁譬如佢啲面包同香港又好唔一样嘅。诶、嗯呃，大家都系饮茶，但系佢饮茶嗰、那个诶诶、呃呃、格调又唔同嘅。嗯。诶、呃，大家都饮咖啡，但系土耳其咖啡又唔同嘅。咁呢啲我觉得系可以做嘅先，呢啲系会最容易做。